Now the mob of the media is showing their blatant hypocrisy more than ever tonight, completely ignoring the explosive Senate report on Hunter Biden's shady, nefarious, illicit dealings overseas. For example, fake news CNN, all three nightly news programs completely avoided the subject, while MSDNC briefly mentioned the story, only to downplay the story. Now the report lays out in detail how Hunter Biden received millions from foreign nationals with corrupt backgrounds, including a $3.5 million deal from the wife of the former mayor of Moscow, called herself the first lady of Russia, and a $100,000 shopping spree funded by a Chinese Communist Party-linked financier. And that's not all. The report even found evidence linking zero experience Hunter to alleged human trafficking. And of course, the findings also reveal how zero experience Hunter worked for Burisma Holdings, well, that prompted serious concerns in inside the Obama State Department, with one senior official even briefing both Joe and Hunter about the conflicts of interest concerns. Now, remember, even Joe claims he never spoke to his son about Ukraine dealings. Well, Joe, you still stand by that lie? And don't forget, well, Biden is also on tape bragging. You're not getting a billion dollars until you fire Ukrainian prosecutors who's investigating my son being paid millions for no experience. So let's play the little game, replace the name Hunter Biden with, say, oh, Donald Trump Jr. How would the mob and the media be covering that? They'd be proclaiming it the biggest bombshell story in history, and it would be 24-7, around-the-clock hysteria. But there were two sets of rules, one for the Democratic swamp in Washington, one for the rest of us. Now, the good news is Republicans are at least exposing it, taking action. It's taking forever. Senator Rand Paul says the Homeland Security panel will refer the report to the Department of Justice for a criminal probe. Congressman Jim Jordan is pressing FBI Director Christopher Wray for information about whether or not the Bureau is even investigating this. More importantly, Joe Biden needs to be asked the tough questions. But, of course, he ends his day at 9 or 10 a.m. every day. So what did he know? When did he know it? Did he ever really never speak to your son about any of this? And why did you allow your son to use that position as vice president to do all these sketchy deals with oligarchs in Russia and Ukraine and elsewhere? And of course, the communist Chinese $1.5 billion deal with the Bank of China and getting rich while, well, daddy's vice president. You make any money, Joe, from these deals? And by the way, is that why you were more critical of Donald Trump and the travel ban? Why? So Hunter can get another billion dollar deal with China and more deals with Russia? We live in dangerous times, and in 40 short days, this will be the tipping point election. Powerful institutional forces in the media, the Democratic Party, the deep state, and operatives, all hands on deck. And even worse than 2016, they're there to protect the swamp, the bureaucracy, and do any and all things possible to destroy President Trump, even if it means electing a frail, weak, corrupt figure like Joe Biden. God help this country. Here with Reaction, author of the Profile in Corruption, Peter Schweitzer, along with Fox News legal analyst Greg Jarrett. You know, Secret Empires was your book, Peter. You, you know, and, well, hang on a second. I guess we don't have them up now. Uh, guys, are we going to get the right people up? Because that's for the next segment. Anyway, we get, there we go. Peter Schweitzer, uh, you wrote the book Secret Empire. And uh, in Secret Empires, you exposed this first and foremost. It's even worse than you described. And almost everything you reported has now been vindicated. Yeah, that's right, Sean. Thank you. And, and by the way, the, we're, the reason we're at the point where the Senate has looked into this is because you interviewed me two years ago and amplified our findings. And what the Senate has done is they've used tools that I didn't have access to, uh, not only confirmed what we found, but, but taken it a step further. And what they've shown is that Hunter Biden was involved in a series of foreign corrupt schemes that triggered suspicious activity reports, or so-called SR. SAR uh, transactions by the Treasury Department. These are triggered when money is flowing from either sketchy individuals or the amount of money in question is raising alarm bells. So this is not a question of anonymous sources or speculation. We now know that money changed hands. We know who it came from. We know it came from countries that are our rivals, and we knew it, know it came from very corrupt uh, entities around the world. And the question, Sean, continues to be, why 
did they give Hunter Biden this money? He didn't have a skill set. He didn't have qualifications. They were paying for something. These are not charities. And that's the question that Joe Biden and Hunter Biden need to answer. You know, Greg Jarrett, I I'm looking at, okay, this Russian subsource and the, what we learned tonight from Lindsey Graham. Oh, they knew this guy was a Russian spy for right. 10 years. They still use that information as the basis for the FISA application. Uh, we're learning tonight. I don't know why four years later we're getting even more devastating text messages from Strzok and, and all these other FBI guys and notes with Andrew McCabe that are as incriminating as anything we've gotten before. Why are we getting that four years late? Why is it that Peter Schweitzer nailed this years ago in Secret Empires had the story down perfect? Well, we're learning it now 41 days before the election yesterday um, and, and still only one person held accountable on the Russian side of this. Well, a lot of this has been covered up by the Obama-Biden administration for years, the intel community, as well as the FBI. This is a, a damning report uh, that uh, accuses Hunter Biden of uh, influence peddling, profiteering, and directly connected to his father, who said, gee, I knew nothing about it. Now we know, thanks to this report, that was a lie. He was briefed about it. He was warned about it. He spoke to his son about it. Look, it's a crime to confer a benefit to a foreign government in exchange for something of value uh, for yourself or your relative, including your son. It's public corruption. Uh, it, it's, you know, uh, 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 Extortion, embezzlement, all of those words get thrown around a lot, but they're all part of the public corruption. Think about this. Uh, Burisma is paying $4 million to Hunter Biden. Uh, at the same time, his father is pressuring Ukraine to drop an investigation into his son's company. Uh, it, you know, it, it, Rand Paul is right. Let's send this to the Department of Justice, have the lawyers take a look at it and decide whether a criminal prosecution is merited. But I'm not surprised that the mainstream media, you identified them, were crickets about that. They're not neutral news organizations. They're advocates and protectors of Joe Biden and the Democrats. All right. Great work, both of you, on all of this. We appreciate it. Matt